find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you're the right girl So I can only say that it feels right It feels right, it feels right Yeah, I can only say that it feels right It feels right, it feels right Yeah, I can only say that it feels right in this video, we will be able to know who is Leandro Viloxin and what are his great works that made so much contribution in our Philippine architecture. He was a Filipino architect, artist, and interior designer which known for his use of concrete, floating volume, and simplistic design on his projects. An avid collector, he was a fan of modern paintings and Chinese ceramics. He was a proud national artist of the Philippines for architecture in 1990 by the late President Corazon C. Aquino. His works included churches, public buildings, hotels, commercial buildings, interior designs, and sets of theatrical productions. Church of Holy Sacrifice, UP Diliman, 1995 the Parish of the Holy Sacrifice, also the Church of the Holy Sacrifice, is a landmark Catholic chap chapel on the University of the Philippines Diliman campus. It belongs to the Roman Catholic Diocese of Cubao and its present parish priest is Reverend Father Jose S. Tupino III. The Church of St. Andrew, Bel Air, Village, Makati, 1968. The St. Andrew, the Apostle Parish, is a Roman Catholic church in Villa Village, Philippines. It is one of the known modern edifices designed by Leandro Viloxin in Makati. The parish is dedicated to St. Andrew, the Apostle, the patron saint of Metro Manila and Bel Air Village. St. John, the Baptist Church, Calibu Aklan, 1993. John the Baptist Church, the Calibo Cathedral was originally built in 1581 and stands as the oldest edifice of worship in the province. Renovated in 1993 through the spiritual and monetary help of the Aklanons, the church renovation designs are one of the last works of the renowned national artist Leandro V. Luxin. The Osama City Cathedral The church building was designed by Leandro V. Luxin and was completed in 1960. The cathedral has been renovated in 1997 to 1998 including the newly installed facade which earned both praise and criticism. The blue and pink colored window panels paint the interior of the church with bright shades of blue. Entering the cathedral gives us a feeling of relaxedness and calmness. Leandro Luxino is also known for his public building works. Some of the examples of his works are the following. Cultural Center of the Philippines Naia Terminal 1 Rizal Park Amphitheater Ayala Museum Davao International Airport Terminal Building and many more. Leandro Viloxin is indeed an amazing man who creates spectacular and amazing designs. Do you know that he designed the Davao Insular Hotel, the Hyatt Regency Hotel, and the Philippine Plaza Hotel? Waterfront Insular Hotel Davao is a beachfront getaway to the diverse colorful and rich cultural heritage of Davao City. Considered an attraction to many tourists, the hotel resort features sprawling and carefully manicured gardens and scenic views of the Davao Gulf and the island garden city of Samal from the verands of well-appointed guest rooms and suits. Meanwhile, located in City of Dreams, Manila Integrated Resort, hotel and casino. The Hyatt Hotels is renowned for its quality services and friendly staff. Also, Hyatt City of Dreams Manila lives up to its expectations. Lastly is the Sofetel Manila Plaza Hotel. 
It is one of the most luxurious 5-star hotels in Manila. It is a thoughtfully elegant and thoroughly modern resort on the majestic Manila Bay. Hi everyone, especially to Miss April Ann Moncada. My name is Anthony Chris Fernandez, and this is the continuation of the topic of Mr. Alvin Dean. So now we're going to discuss to you the set of theoretical production, and these are. of the Holy Sacrifice is the theater of the performing arts of the cultural center of the Philippines. The marble facade creates the illusion of the theater being afloat, a one-of-a-kind masterpiece that Leandro has gifted to the Filipinos. Leandro V. Luxin was a Filipino architect, artist, and an interior designer. He is known in the Philippines for creating an art which is called interior design structures. Here are some examples of Leandro V. Luxin's known interior design structures. First is the Philippine Plaza Hotel CCP Complex built in 1976 Manila. Second is the Manila Hotel built in 1976 in Luneta. Third is the Asian Center and Research for Social Welfare, built in 1976 in Makati. And the last one is the Theater for the Performing Arts Cultural Center of the Philippines, built in 1969 in Rojas Boulevard, Manila. Congratulations, you made to this point of the video. We hope you learned something and thank you so much for listening. Stay safe and God bless.